Hi friends, Misha here. Welcome to another day in Stardew Valley. It is a winter day 20 of year one here on Kiyoshi Farm and I have a new horsey. I installed a horse mod. Look at her! Him! It's Appa! <laughs> I couldn't find a mod that actually made the horse look like Appa from Avatar The Last Airbender, but uh, I found a few, you know, just horse recolor mods, and this one is the one that I thought looked similar to Appa and also just, just really pretty. So I love Appa's little makeover that we gave him here. We're gonna leave him here for right now though, because we got some stuff close by to do. Don't need to ride him quite yet. Um, but today is Evelyn's birthday. I did play through one day in between uh, last week's episode and today. Uh, mostly, I just went to the secret woods, got some hardwood, did daily stuff around town, talked to a few people, nothing major. Let's pop in on our greenhouse. I wonder if we have anything to harvest in here. Not quite yet. Oh, we have some corn to harvest. That'll take. That sunflower is still chilling there. And then we also have to harvest... Well, we will... Let's pop in on our... On our chickens first. I'm gonna fast forward through all this, uh, checking on our chickens and ducks. Oh, wait, we have a new chicken! We have a new baby chick chick right here. The chicken's name is Stevie, named after one of my longtime viewers. I know uh, Stevie watches my Stardew videos, so welcome baby chick chick Stevie to the fam bam right here. There you go. One month. Stevie looks really happy today. Well, I hope so. Stevie was just born yesterday, so better be happy about life. Doesn't doesn't know the dangers of the real world just yet. <laughs> and I do have these a couple things, a couple artifacts to take to the museum. So if we wind up over there, we will take those to Gunther, which we we might not. I don't know. Today I think we're mostly going to be doing stuff around the farm. I ended up not fast forwarding through any of this, but oh well, I've got things to say to you. Uh, we're gonna probably end up doing things around the farm, and then going to talk to Evelyn, uh, give her her birthday present, and what else are we gonna do? Go to the secret woods. I think we might pay a visit to Robin and see what sort of stuff, actually I should milk the cows see what sort of stuff we could be building next because maybe we could expand our barn maybe we could i think you can expand the coop one more level maybe we could expand the coop next maybe we could build a second one a second barn or a second coop i just i just don't know um we, we've been gathering resources for a while the last thing we built was the stable which just took it just took hardwood and oh we got some pine tar here. It just took hardwood and some stone, I think, maybe. It didn't use a ton of resources, so we still have a lot of foraged, uh, or just, we still have a lot of resources that could be, oh, am I out of, <laughs> I am out of space in my pockets. Okay, hold on, let's go, let's go sell a few, a few things. Oh, what, we have mail. I didn't even, she was just trying to milk the box. Okay, whatever. Uh, I'll sell a couple of the milks. I'll sell the pine tar. I'll sell... Uh... I don't even know what I should sell and what I shouldn't. I'm gonna sell some of these eggs because I just have too many eggs, to be honest with you. Might as well sell all of them. And yeah, we're gonna be collecting more of that. Okay. And we do need to save up. Oh yeah, money is what we are low on. So we actually might not have enough money to get any uh, new buildings built or any of the buildings upgraded. But hopefully with all of uh, these winter crops that we're harvesting, um, we'll make a fair bit of money. I do need to have some money for the spring to be able to buy new seeds. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to budget ourselves. Can't be spending too much. Let's see what we got in the mail. Greetings, young adept, adept, I don't know. I've enclosed in this package an item of arcane significance. Use it wisely. We got some fire quartz. I've already found some fire quartz actually in the mines. We have a couple pieces of it already, but we will add that to our collection. Now let's see, should I save any of this? I already have like six snow yams. I think maybe I should 
Maybe I'll sell all those. Maybe I'll just keep the gold quality ones. Maybe I'll sell the silver quality crystal fruit and just keep the gold ones. Um, yeah, I might as well sell those. I'll keep that one. I'll still sell the silver ones. And what about milk? Yeah, we still have plenty of milk, so I'll go ahead and... Well, I'll keep this one and then I'll make the other one into into some cheese over there in the cheese press. Okay, stop trying to milk the... What is this even called? Drop box? Community box? I don't know what it's called. Alright, we selling stuff. Oh, the winter root. Did I need to keep any of that? Hold. Everybody hold. I thought I had some of it. Is it in overflow? No, it's not in overflow. Is it in goods? No, it's not in goods. Crops? No. <laughs> Maybe not. Do I really not have any winter root? Okay, well, we'll regardless, we'll, we'll keep the gold star quality ones. I'll see why not. All right, let's go get some milk. Or get some cheese started over here. I'll get some mayo started as well. And then we'll ride our horsey into town. We'll ride Appa into town. And go see... Miss Evelyn, Granny, for her birthday. Oh, I had, I had three eggs. Okay, did not realize. Nope, that's not where I wanted it to go. Oh wait, yes it is. <sighs> Struggling today, guys. It's okay. I didn't pet my pets. Let's go pet. Let's see. I think that's is this Zuko. I think that's Zuko. He looks like the bigger one. Where's Azula and where's Margo? Are they all wandering around the farm aimlessly? Oh. Pfft. There's Margo, just asleep by the bush. Where's Azula? Where's my other pug baby? Oh no, I think, okay, so that was Azula over there. This one's Zuko. No? God, I can't tell. There, Azula's just like barely smaller than Zuko. They have to be like right beside each other for me to tell sometimes, which is which. All right, Appa, let's go town. Let's go. I think we do have a few things that Evelyn loves, so we will be able to give her a really nice birthday present. Hello everyone, let's talk to Penny and the children's. Things changed a lot after Joja Mart went up. It's been really bad for Pierre's shop. Mom loves Joja Mart though. The prices are cheap so she can afford um, a lot more there than she ever could at Pierre's. Yeah, but support local businesses. You smell like grass. You smell like grass. Dad's coming back soon. Wait. What? I hope he brings me some toys. Wait. Hold on. What's... Hold. What are the family dynamics here? Who... Where... Who... What? Who... <laughs> who is Vincent's mother? Slash father. Oh, tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to the desert. That is the big thing that we're doing tomorrow uh, because that was repaired last episode. Or the bus was repaired last episode, so now Pam is going to be working the bus. Again, we gave her her job back, which is really exciting for her and for us. So that tomorrow that's what we'll be doing. But today is going to be, the rest of today will probably be just some socializing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't feel like going through the map and figuring out who Vincent's family is. I'll, I'll figure that out later. But Dad's coming home soon. So, maybe just year two, Vincent's dad always comes home? Ain't that just cute? Okay, Evelyn's, Evelyn's at her house. There are no... No quests up on the board. Alright, Op, I'm gonna leave you right out here, buddy. I'll give you a nice little window. Oh, Evelyn! Evelyn! We've lived here for over 30 years. We've seen a lot of people come and go. Your grandfather, for one, bless him, sigh. Aw, Evelyn. All right, let's see what, whoops, whoops, what Evelyn would want for her birthday. Okay, so she loves chocolate cake, diamonds, and fairy roses, three things that we have. Um, she also loves beets, prismatic shards, rabbit's feet, stuffing, and tulips. All right. Let me see how many fairy roses we have. I don't think I have more than, like, one. 
Okay, I have two. One's a different color. Yeah, let's give Evelyn a fairy rose. She she deserves it. I know we only have two, but I really want to give her something special. Mm -hmm. Evelyn, come back. I have your birthday present. A birthday gift? That's very kind of you. I love it. Aw, I'm so glad, Evelyn. Oh, there's Shane. Let's go get him. Go get him. He's probably going to be mean to us again, but that's okay. No, Shane. <laughs> Um, oh, hi, Caroline. Don't you think Abby would look better with her natural hair color? Car- What? You're one to talk. You have green hair. Are you criticizing Abigail's purple hair? Is green hair your natural hair color? What? She used to have light chestnut colored hair. Really? That's so cute. A little bit of lore. A little bit- well, I don't know if that's really lore. But, you know, a little bit of history that we're finding out. Oh my god. We can't get past- can't, there we go. Okay. Just trying to get through to see Shane. That's all I wanted. What's Shane doing here? Doesn't he work at Choja Mart? Can I not talk to him? Oh, that's poop. That's some real poop. Oh well. Alright, now that we have given Evelyn her birthday present, let's go see Robin. See what our next construction project might be. I'd really like to have one I'd really like to start a construction project soon. I love adding on to the farm, adding adding new features, and especially when spring hi Maru, especially when spring comes around very soon. Oh, we got we gotta talk to Abigail. It's the weekend. That means I can play twice as many video games. Hi. <laughs> okay, bye. I'm just gonna park my horse flying bison hybrid out here. Yo, Robin, what is up? Um, oh, we could. What is our next house upgrade? Oh, pfft, it costs 50,000 gold. You also need to provide 150 pieces of hardwood. Okay, well, we do not have that much gold right now, so negative. But good to know. Good to know. All right, so we already have all this. The mill... I'm not super interested in for the purpose that it serves, but with the buildings retexture mod that I have, the mill does look super duper cute, so kinda wanna build it, but I don't have any cloth, so that poses an issue. <clears throat> the shed is just an empty building. This is something that, this will probably be one of the last things I build once I've gotten everything else because it's just used for, yeah, decoration purposes. Slime hutch, we are nowhere near ready to build that. We do not have enough supplies. Okay. Unlocks rabbits. Okay, so this is the next coop that we need. And the big barn unlocks goats. So this one costs 12,000 gold, and we definitely have enough wood and stone for that. This one is 20,000 gold and, er, and needs wood and stone, which we definitely have. So we basically just need money at this point. Uh, so once we reach- oh, which one should we do first, guys? Hang on, let me know in the comments, because uh, it'll be at least a few in-game days before we're able to build either of these. So let me know if I should upgrade the barn, which will unlock goats, um, or if I should just go ahead and go all out and get the deluxe coop and go ahead and unlock rabbits. I'm honestly a little bit more excited to have rabbits than I am to have goats, but we've already upgraded the coop once and we haven't upgraded the barn at all. So, you know, pros, cons. Let me know which one I should do. Alright, well that's good to know. So we pretty much just need to raise money. I know I definitely have enough resources for everything, uh, for our next projects, but, uh, need some more monies. Let's see, if seasonal, seasonal nitrogen levels could be modeled by a piecewise function- oh, sorry, I was analyzing data and I didn't notice you there. <laughs> Do you need anything? I like Demetrius. I want to upgrade- let's get him a present, actually. What- what do you like? And we don't have anything that he loves. Everybody likes rabbit's feet. I've never- I have not come across a rabbit's foot yet. I know they're crazy, crazy rare. But hopefully we will come across them soon. Sorry, I'm thinking about the buildings upgrade. I feel like we should just do the barn upgrade because 
The coop upgrade costs 8,000 more gold, and we're gonna need that gold for buying new seeds whenever spring rolls around, which is coming up really soon. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards upgrading the barn since it costs less money. But I don't know, maybe we'll make a buttload of money in the coming days, we'll see. Okay, let's give Demetrius Autumn's Bounty, that's something we just got as a reward. I haven't even used that on myself yet. Or is it? It's not an overflow? Why is it not an overflow? Is it in goods? It is in goods. Ha, oh, man, but that provides so much energy and health. I kind of don't want to give that to him. It wasn't an artichoke another thing that he really, really liked. Oh, I only have one artichoke. What else? He liked amethysts. Oh, I have four am- let's give him an amethyst. Okay, that's good. Here you go, Demetrius. Thank you, this is a very interesting specimen. What is our friendship level? Just two hearts. Yeah, so hopefully we will be able to get that up. Really want to increase our friendships with a lot of characters, but especially the ones that we haven't really interacted with that much. Hopefully year two- my goal for year two is to get a- a spouse, I think. And I think I want that to be Abigail. Oh, I'm just not sure. There's some weird people living in this town. Buddy, you're telling me. Like that guy, Sebastian. Why does he wear black all the time? I love Sebastian. You shut up about him. I don't get it. Why do you wear blue and green all the time? I don't get it. Why do you throw a football around all the time? I don't get it. Listen, Alex, people have different interests and you should not shame people for having interests that are different from yours. A little lesson for you there, buddy. I wish you all could see Margo right now. She is sitting on... <laughs> she's sitting on the arm of my chair and she is looking up at the screen. She's kind of following... She's following the mouse around. What is it, baby? <laughs> she's so cute. Okay, what else are we going to do today? Maybe we'll just go to the- it's a Saturday night, maybe we'll go to the Star Drop Saloon? For the evening? Guess we haven't had any storms, our lightning rod hasn't been able to collect anything. Oh, look at all these things we got. Blueberry jelly, cheese, some mayo, stuff that'll make us money. I hear you meowing back there. Um, okay. There we go. <laughs> oh, we could have gone to, uh, to Gunther. I completely, completely forgot about that. Oh well. Yeah, I'll go ahead and sell all of this. I'll put the clay in here. And let's get other things started. Get more mayo. And more cheese. And we'll get some ale started. No, not foraged. Crops. Get some hops. And we'll get some more jam started or jelly. Yeah, then we'll go to the saloon and chat with people for a little bit. There we go. Alright, Appa, let's go. I wish Appa could just, like, go everywhere with me. I want him to be able to come inside the saloon and inside the mines. Oh my god, Margo is too cute. She's watching Appa run across the screen. Oh, hi, Marnie. Have you been to that strange tower west of my house? Yeah. One time I heard this terrible otherworldly noise coming from there. I would avoid that place if I were you. It's just the wizard. I mean, he's doing some kind of weird things with the Junimos, but other than that, he seems pretty harmless. All right, Alpha, you stay here. I'll be back. Mommy will be back. Uh, here's Pam, hard day, waiting by the bus. Pam isn't responding? Well, alright. We'll be talking to her tomorrow to take us to the- to the desert. Hi, Leah. 
We should give Leah a present. Yeah, we only have one heart with Leah, and she's super cute. She really likes a lot of stuff we don't have. Uh, let's give her... Oh, she likes cranberries. I know we have some gold star cranberries. Yeah. Here you go. This is a really nice gift. Thank you. Aww. Let's go behind the bar and talk to these guys. Hi there, Misha. I'm glad to see you. You're always welcome here. Okay. Do you know how to cook bean hot pot? I like that dish quite a bit. It's hard to get fresh ingredients in the winter, huh? Yep. Unless you have a greenhouse like I do. But I didn't really plant that much in there. That's another thing I need to do next year is save up seeds from each season to plant in the greenhouse during during the winter. I can't talk to Shane. Wow, he is just ignoring me today. I feel a little hurt. Nothing's better than kicking back with a cold one after relaxing day fishing. Anybody over here? Nope, nobody over here. Alright, well that was a fun fun time chatting with people in the saloon. I think we'll head back home, get a good night's rest, and go to the desert tomorrow. Oh, we have made quite a bit of money for ourselves. We made 8,000 gold. That's awesome. We now definitely have enough money to build or to upgrade our barn and then some. Yeah, I'm not going to do that today, but maybe we will, maybe we'll do that soon. But still, if you guys really think I should upgrade the coop, uh, cause I'm really excited about rabbits, maybe we'll do that? I don't know. You guys, you guys let me know. Oh, it's snowing. What a pretty, pretty snow day. Appa looks so nice in the snow. Let's see who's written us some mail. Misha, how are you doing? I hope the winter hasn't been too hard on you. Anyway, I'm writing to ask you for some hardwood. I need about ten pieces if you've got it. Oh, I do got it. I do got it, Robin. Let's go ahead and grab that. Oh, we should have gone to the Secret Woods yesterday to get more hardwood, because that's something that is not very easy to come by. Alright, I am going to... Hold on, my cat is, I think, trying to lay in my lap. Come on. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna fast forward through doing the daily stuff here on, on the farm, taking care of the animals and checking on the crops and, and all that, and then I will meet you back. Doki, we are done with our daily stuff on the farm. We didn't have anything to harvest in the greenhouse just yet, so we will come back to that later. Now, I do want to, before we go to the desert, oh, I just saw Pam walking up there. Before we go to the desert, before we take the bus, um, I want to check the calendar, because I'm about ready to wrap up winter, I think. Uh, winter is fun in Stardew Valley. Oh, hi, George. Aren't you cold? They don't make sweaters like they used to. <laughs> so, hi. Yeah, so I might be skipping over a few days, but I know there are some events left. Yeah, so there's the Feast of the Winter Star. Yeah, so I think we're going to do only one or two more episodes of winter in Stardew Valley. I think I will play through these three days, including Leah's birthday. I'll be sure to give her a present. Um, play through these three days off camera and then maybe do the Feast of the Winter Star and then Clint's, Clint's birthday in one episode and then the last two days of the season in, in the next episode. So the next couple weeks are gonna be the last ones for winter and then we'll be starting year two, which is really exciting. I've never gotten to the second year yet. Uh, and I'm excited for it to be spring again. Uh, I love winter, both in real life and in the game. Oh my god, I just need to see the quest, please. Uh, 
but yeah, I'm just, I'm ready for the lush green of spring, especially with the map recolor mod and the buildings mod I have. Everything is so beautiful. I'm really excited to see it uh, with our new, we have so many new things on the farm since it was last spring. Um, so it's going to be really exciting. Okay, looking for quartz, cash payment upon delivery. I definitely have that. So hopefully we can run in to Linus, get him some quartz. Let me go ahead and grab that out of my pockets so that will remind me. Alright, while we're down here, we're gonna go pay Gunther a visit. Oh wait, we can't go that way. Oppa can't fit through that side of, of the fence. Can't, can't squeeze through. Then after this, I think we'll go see Linus and then we will go see Pam. That's, whoop, there we go. Oh, hey, new reward. Oh, a new achievement, treasure trove. Awesome. We got a rare crow. Oh my God, I've never seen this thing before. That looks very interesting. <laughs> Look at all these books that I've added to the museum that I haven't read yet. Maybe one day, well, that'd probably be boring to go through all the books in one day. All right, let's get this geode open. For some reason, I was thinking the geode would be something we did at the museum, but that was a dumb, dumb thought. Let's process this geode, please. Oh, yay, five coal, just what I've always wanted. Okay, I'll take it. See ya, my dude, I don't have any quests. Oh, we gotta bring Robin, Robin her hardwood, right, right. I just wanted to make sure I didn't have any quests to bring. I'm a blacksmith, anything. Blackberry basket. Oh, we still need to find Linus's blackberry basket. Not sure where that is, but we'll we'll find it. And I do need to try to. That's something. This is something I'll do uh, off episode. I'll probably try to do some fishing uh, in the few days coming up. Try to catch that squid. All right, let's go see Linus and Robin. This is a busy day. We're gonna go see Linus and Robin, and then we are going to take the bus to the desert. Oh, you brought it. I know I can always count on you, Misha. This wood is perfect. It's ex exactly what I need. Thanks. Hope Demetrius doesn't blow the house up with those science experiments of his. Girl, me either. I'm not even sure what he's working on. I think it has something to do with plants. <laughs> Well, we completed the quest for Robin. We got 500 gold for it. That's a good little reward there. Let's see, is Linus nearby? Oh, he is so nearby. He is just right, right up here, hopping a skip away. There is my boy. We'll give him his quartz and be on our way to the bus. Oh, we got a new achievement too. Oh, you brought me the item I asked for. I really appreciate it. Here's your payment as promised. Gopher. <laughs> Gopher was the achievement, I guess, for doing uh, so many quests for people. That's awesome. All right. It is, it is finally time. It's time to go, whoops, to the bus. I guess this will be, whoops, this will be the fastest way to get there. Just go back down through town. I know I'm skipping over a lot of stuff that I could be foraging and worms that I could be digging up, but I don't know exactly how long we'll want to spend in, in the desert. So I want to make sure we have at least a good part of the afternoon to spend there. Hi, Abigail. Okay, we gotta talk to Abigail. Oh, hello. Remember these drawings I showed you a while ago? I accidentally threw them away. <gasps> no. I wonder if I could search through the trash for them and find them. Do you guys think? Do you think I could? That would be adorable if I could and then give them back to her and she would be so happy. All right, Appa, I think you have to stay here. You can't ride the bus with me, although that would be really adorable if you could. Blah, my front yard's a mess. So I just need to go on here then? Or do I need to get a ticket? Ah, yes, buy a ticket for 500 gold. That's a little expensive, but I'll do it. I'm gonna have to really limit my, my trips to the desert then if it costs that much. Oh my god, here we are already. I have never seen anything of the desert. Um, haven't seen it in a video. I haven't seen any screenshots. So this is my first time seeing all this. Oh, look at all these cacti, these palm trees. 
Oh, this is exciting. Oh my god, look at these bones up here, these fossils. Found a new book for the museum, or for the library that is in the museum. What? It's Mog capes at the desert sun. Even in death, it yearns for a taste. Oh, that's creepy. Can I cut down these cacti? Is that a thing that I can do? No? That is my axe, right? Yeah. Does that? No. Okay, that's just doing something to the to the ground. Alright, well, I figured I'd try. Can I cut down the palm trees? Listen, I just need to know. <gasps> I can cut down the palm trees. What kind of wood does that give me? Ah, oh, just regular wood. Darn. Okay. I'm not gonna cut down any more of the palm trees then. <laughs> if it gave me hardwood, I might. Ooh. Oasis. Is this like a little, a little spa? Ooh, another lost book. Awesome. Let's pop in and see. <gasps> New character! <gasps> Sandy! Oh my god, I love her portrait. Oh, she looks so... I don't know what she looks like. Kind of sophisticated, I guess. I don't know, let's see. A uh, customer? Hi, welcome to Sandy's Oasis. You look just like... The new farmer that Emily wrote to me about. Then the bus line to Stardew Valley is back in service. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, look at the little happy face above her head. That's so cute. Rare, oh, rare seeds for sale. Okay. Oh my God. Hello. Who's this fellow back there? He's the bouncer. It looks like. Oh my God. Okay. Rare seeds. We got rhubarb seeds. Oh, and there's spring seeds. Takes 13 days to mature. Star fruit. Plant these in summer. Beet seeds. Takes six days to mature. And ice cream. Hmm. I wonder if her stock rotates every day or if she has just like the same things for sale all season. I don't know. I kind of want to buy a few and then plant these in in the greenhouse. Definitely want to buy these. I feel like there was something that used beets. Like the mill, did the mill building that I could make use beets? Go ahead and get 10 of them since they only cost 20. Um, maybe I'll pass on the star fruit for now because those are really expensive, but Go ahead and get five of the rhubarb. Uh, nah. Let's get five more. I don't see why not. Well, interesting. I'll have to come back and I'll just have to look up on the Stardew Valley wiki and see what her stock is like, if it rotates or what the deal is. This guy is silent. Hmm. I'll have to look up and see how I can... Uh, get back in there. Well, Sandy, it's been a pleasure. Please visit again soon. I get so bored out here. Aw, I will have to come back and see Sandy. Somebody I'll have to increase my friendship with. <gasps> a coconut! What can I do with a coconut? Tell me. Oh, a couple people love this. Haley and Linus love coconuts. Haley loves them. Oh, Haley is somebody I've not gotten my friendship up with at all. Can use them in a couple of recipes. Oh, you can make wine from the coconuts by putting it in the keg. Oh, hot diggity dang. That's cool. I haven't used anything else in the keg besides hops yet. Um, so that's something I'll need to experiment with. Can I sit? No? Okay, whatever. You know, this is so fun. <laughs> I'm so happy we came here. What is this? This looks like the place for a ritual or... This looks kind of like the lightning rod that I have on my farm. Maybe when there's a storm going on, lightning will strike these and something will happen. I don't know. Or if sun hits it just the, just the right way. Oh, there's a cave! <gasps> what is this? The door is locked. Oh. So many secrets, though, that we're finding. This makes me very happy. Can I go? Okay, can't go that way. Alright, so the desert is kind of small, but 
looks like it holds a few secrets. We need to unlock a way back into the uh, oasis. I was trying to see if we could get down here, but it doesn't look like we can. But there is a little spot to do some fishing up here. Let's try, let's try fishing. Try our luck at this little pond here. See if we can get some special desert fish. And this has been a really long episode. <laughs> Hope you all don't mind having longer episodes. Well, I guess once I... Is nothing going to bite? Are you kidding? I guess once I fast forward all those little bits, it'll be a few minutes shorter. There we go. That just took a whole god. Oh god. Oh my god. That was quite the quite the failure. Let's try let's try once more. It's getting a little late. We'll need to head back soon. Oh, okay. Green algae. Great. Just what I wanted. Once more then. One more real fish. <sighs> There we go. Oh my god, are you kidding? Okay, this is the last time for real skis. <laughs> Even if I don't get an actual fish to bite. We're gonna go back. So obviously, since it's late, I won't be planting these seeds today. Okay, well, we tried. We gave it the old college try. Since this is our only- oh, a golden mask? Since this is our only trip to the desert that we'll have for uh, a couple days, might as well dig up all those worms. Were there any more? There might have been one or two more somewhere. Oh wait, was there anything over here? Okay, there were worms over here. Got another book. Okay, I get it. Library. Oh, okay, no, this just goes over to the, to the bench. I see. Oh, I'm so glad we can finally come to the desert. Looks like it holds, like I said, it does hold uh, some secrets that I am excited to discover. Got a couple of new resources that it offers as well. Thank you, Pam, for your services. Appa is wondering where you've been. Aw, Appa, I'm so sorry. I left you in the cold snow for so long. <laughs> All right, oh look, our little thingamajig made a diamond or two diamonds, just one diamond. So, oh wait, this I need to donate to the museum? Oh, I didn't even realize I need to donate that to the museum too. Oh boy, I don't think I'm gonna organize my pockets tonight. I'll do that tomorrow since I'll be playing off, off episode. Um, go ahead and collect these guys and get them sold. Make a little bit of money tonight. Um, I should go ahead and save these coconuts right now. I would say hold on to those. Yeah, nothing else I need to sell. So let's go to sleep. Thank you guys so much for watching. We are going to see... don't think I leveled up in anything today, but we are going to see how much money we made before ending. A couple thousand. 2,500 gold. A pretty good, pretty good haul. So yeah, you guys, let me know what you want me to upgrade next, uh, the barn or the coop. I feel like, I don't know, I, f I feel like we should do the barn since it costs less and I am going to need a good bit of money for spring seeds. But maybe when I play uh, these next few days off episode, I'll make a bunch of money and I'll be comfortable enough to upgrade the coop. So you guys let me know what you would rather see me upgrade first. And also always feel free to give me your tips for Stardew Valley. I am, even though I've been playing this for a while, I'm still a beginner. So let me know what tips and tricks you have up your sleeve. They are much appreciated. I'll be back next Wednesday with another episode of Stardew Valley. My other social media are below if you want to check those out. You all have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. Don't forget to be awesome. Bye.